This is about as funky as it gets on Friday Night Fights, this song right here. We got uh, we got a couple matches tonight, guys. We got a couple matches. My mic is super loud. Sorry about that. Mic check. Uh, we're going to adjust these, see if it affects my mic. Yeah, that's looking good. Looking even better. That's looking good. Looking really good. We're dropping frames, aren't we? Oh, God. Don't start with that again. Okay, guys. We got a couple of matches tonight. First matchup is going to be Lisa McCord and Venkat Conaru. They're on their way back from having a little puff puff uh, of the, the uh, tobacco sort. So they'll be back shortly. I just got here. I got here about uh, four or five minutes ago. No, sorry. 20 minutes ago. I can't even count. And looking to have a chill time, guys. What's going on with the chat? There we go. Savannah is not destroying people tonight, so I will watch One Pocket. I heard that. Where is Savannah right now? Is she out at Super Billiards Expo? Did she make it out there in time? Whoa. My camera got unplugged again. Let me go take care of that. I'll let you guys watch... Uh... I'll let you guys watch... Uh... These uh, APA boys hit some balls. I'm going to go plug that camera in. Actually, I'm just going to throw you right here because Cat's walking up to the table. So how many American Q Sport games are there, and why are there so many Q Sport games in one table? The Alpha Pill? Uh, well, we play 8-ball, 10-ball, 9-ball, 1-pocket, Bank Pool, Straight Pool, Saratoga, Chicago. Uh, what else can we come up with? 3-ball, Golf. Uh, good to go. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah, you guys are good to go. <laughs> Cheers, Venkat. Good luck to both the players. Wait, wait. You have to talk. You have to talk into the mic near the table. Yeah, walk o walk over there, and I can hear you. Yeah. I don't know what you mean. What do you mean? What, you want me to show the... No? <laughs> I'm confused what you're asking. No, can't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Sorry about the echo, guys, but we have an intercom now that I can turn up. Venkat and Lisa are playing. I got to get Venkat a uh, link. I told him I'd send him a link to the video on YouTube, so let me sort that out. One ball, one pocket. There's another one. Yeah. Doom, doom, doom. 
How do I send this guy a message? Hold on. Oh, I'm on the wrong account. Okay, we're back, guys. And the internet's not doing any better. Why is the internet not doing any better? Good Lord. Hopefully that's sorted out. Fingers crossed. Yeah, we're good. We are good. And we're on the first game, guys. Ben Cat Conroe broke. Lisa McCord with the first shot. Looks like this three ball passes. She's going aggro. Well, nice shot, Lisa. The Alpha Pill says over in the UK. We only have English pool and not really a Q sport, but six red shootout. But over in the States, there seems to be so many variants. Yeah. I think it's great. I think it's great. So on the professional level, in my opinion, at the professional level, like tournaments for American pool, my opinion, if it's on TV, should either be nine ball or what ultimate pool is bringing to the States. So ultimate pool... If you're already familiar, the Alpha Pill, I'm assuming, since you are talking about the Six Red, the six red Shootout, um, they're bringing Ultimate Pool to the U.S., but they're playing on seven-foot tables, seven-foot American pool tables with um, the stripes and solids, but with the same rule set as Ultimate Pool in the U.K. So I'm, I'm hoping that that's like Pro Pool on the small tables, right? And then pro pool on the big tables is nine nine ball. You know what I mean? That way there's no confusion for the spectator. You know, there's no confusion for the pe the person that's kind of just getting into the game and they, they want to see what the top level of the game is doing. But then, as they get deeper, they can see the world of one pocket, see the world of bank pool, of uh, ten ball, all this these other nuanced games that are a little bit more difficult. So... That's my opinion. That take a greater uh, attention span as well. Yeah, yeah. Looks like the internet issue is sorted out. By the way, guys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, the game the game has such a high skill cap, right? Is he shooting stripes now? Yeah. I thought Lisa made a stripe. No. Oh, okay. I was tripping out. Yeah, pay attention. My bad. My bad. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's such a high skill cap game. What's that noise? Q case on the chair. Is it the Q case? Yes, it's rubbing on the chair. I thought it was just the spike. Nope. Uh -huh. All right. 
Check out that that sweater, by the way. Hey, hey, there it is. Anyway, yeah, it's such a high skill cap game, pocket billiards, uh, that I think it's really cool that there's all those different variants because then whatever skill it is that you excel at, that's the game you can pursue. Yeah, they uh, like all the di- all the different games have different kind of. Uh, you can specialize in different things, you know. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I want to give a quick shout out. There's a gentleman named uh, here it is, Lloyd. I'm so sorry that I'm spaced on your last name, Lloyd. It starts with an E. One moment. Yo, Jay Walker coming in with a $10 for et no reason. Thank you, man. <clears throat> Give me a moment. One moment. Listen properly. This is some tasty iced tea. Sends me a letter that says, I'm going to read it to you verbatim. I bought this Cornell Q, K-O-R-N-E-L-E. I bought this Cornell Q in early 2000. It was my main playing cue for about five years. I had a leather wrap put on it and had Dennis Searing make an extra shaft for it. The Searing shaft is the longer one. The butt of the cue is ivory, as are the six diamonds in the butt. Oh, so the actual butt of the cue is ivory too? That's a lot of ivory. Okay, hold on. The large ivory diamonds line up with the long points, and the smaller diamonds line up with the shorter points. The six points on the queue is some of the darkest black ebony you will ever see. Ebony usually will have some brown streaks in it, or a hint of brown. This is the blackest ebony I have ever seen. The ebony is set into a bird's eye maple forearm. Here is an email I received from from Mr. Cornell uh, on the queue. I do not believe the ferrules are ivory or the joint just the butt and diamond inlays. Mr. Cornell was trained in ivory work by the deceased Hall of Famer cue maker Burl Horn, who was known for the ivory work. He says, I am almost 74 years old now and I have too many cues. I play very little rotation games anymore. Those young guns with eagle eyes and crazy power strokes are hard to keep up with. I play one pocket and 14-1 almost daily. I love one pocket. Anyway, appreciate your show. Uh, this is, this next bit is a little bit sus. He says, I appreciate your show and the intelligent commentators <laughs> who contribute to your show. Sus. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, Lloyd Diaz. Uh, from my experience in many levels of management, I can tell you are hardworking. Okay, the next part is just a little bit too complimentary, so I'm going to move on. Showing lower Fargo-rated matches is a great idea for content. 
it humanizes the game for the audience. Pros are pros for a reason. <laughs> An example would be the Oliver Ruger Chohan match. Ruger is a very, very good player. He did not make make any mistakes, but he played a season pro, Chohan, and you saw the result. I mean, yeah, Chohan going Chohan mode is sickening. <laughs> Dude. So he says, so I am sending you this cue to do with as you wish. Keep it, sell it, trade it, hold a raffle, smack grubs with it when you see him not focusing on the table, etc. My only request is I would love to have a couple post-up chips to keep track of the balls I owe while playing one pocket. Best of luck to you and your wife. That is just so sweet of Lloyd. And he sent me a copy of an email from the cue maker. It says... Now, this is from Steve Cornell to Lloyd. So, from the cue maker to Lloyd, it says, Hope you are doing well. This is a good-looking cue. It was probably built between 2000 and 2002. The black is ebony wood. The light-colored wood is bird's-eye maple. The white is probably a synthetic material, but the diamond-shaped inlays and the ferrules are probably ivory. So, this is actually contrary to what Lloyd says, but Lloyd is saying that he doesn't think the ferrules are ivory, but the butt is. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, it was probably sold for something around $800 back 20 years ago. I would charge about $1,500 for something like that now. But with no ivory because of the ban. Have a great day. Just an incredibly generous. Look at this thing, guys. You can't see it in the dark light. It looks real. I'll maybe put it out on the table between matches and let you guys look at it. But there's only a couple of mild imperfections with it like some of the ring work is kind of uh the finish on it is delaminating but that can be treated that can be refinished okay. yeah interesting dude sent me a cue tosh yeah yo what's up marvin thomas Tony was playing one pocket, and he's trying to—he's trying to two rail the uh, ball like, like to this pocket, but around where the three is, you know. And he and he like hits the points, and, and it goes in his hole. Oh, nice! <laughs> it looks like something you'd see in mini clip eight ball, yeah. I don't think I'm going to keep it for my playing cue just because it's not necessarily the style of cue that I personally care for. I know it's actually the style that a lot of people really like. Um, it's a little heavy. I think it's probably about 20 and a half, maybe 21. Make that a little bit more accessible for you. Mm. Hiya. That's a nice shot from Lisa McCord. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Straight stroking Lisa. She got the first game, right? Uh, yeah, I got it. Right. Right. Got it. Well, you were... Uh... Yeah, Alpha Pill. It's a 3 8 10. Bird's Eye Maple and Ebony. I'm playing... Actually, let me take some pictures of it real quick. In some good lighting. And I'll just put them on screen. I'm playing the two off the 11, 11 into the three, and the, th and the two goes in the side. Yeah.
So how's everybody in chat doing? Anything good for the weekend? Oh, well, uh, Tosh, I was up a hundred. Somebody had put me in, so I profited 50. Not bad for playing awful and yeah. I thought I played good for about half an hour and then I watched it back and I was like, I played good for like three quarters of a rack. <laughs> What up, Mike? There we go. That's what I like to hear. Playing pool, pool, and more pool. Don't, don't, don't. I'll show you in between games, guys. This cute. If I'm Lisa, I'm just making the, the 12 right now. Just carry him off the three. Or she stripes. She stripes this time. My bad. In that case, I would leave the stripe. Oh, and it's Venkat shooting right now anyway, <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so she is solids. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Just got Collins. here. Just got here. Hey, hey, guy. Just walked in the room. Uh, yeah. I watched it. There we go. Now the chat's legible. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yo, NorCal Action TV, TV, who is that? Is, is that, uh... That's not Vaughn, is it? Or is that, no, uh, no. JR? I think it's JR. Um... It is JR. Yeah, I... I don't think I can do it tonight. May, um, I should be working later. So, right, yeah. yeah, American Pool is, uh, it's just a different skill set. Like, the potting of balls is easier in, uh, you know, in English 8 ball, especially on the six foot tables. And the side pockets play really big. But, uh. <laughs> Wait. UK pool is easier? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, except it's a little bit more complicated choosing the uh, the run out patterns. You know what I mean? Is that the one with it's just all like red? Red to yellow. Red, yeah. yeah. And the eight ball. Then Cat just surveying the scene. Mine goes in. Now, again, if I'm Lisa, I'm just making draw? that 12 ball. I am just making that 12 ball. Unless the two goes, I guess. Don't think it does. She says it does. I... She says it definitely does. That's actually kind of where I thought that was the best she could do out of it. Maybe not. I don't know. Did anyone watch the Earl Strickland Kevin Clark match? I wish. It went hill hill. <laughs> of course. I mean, of course it went hill hill. Reddit. You read about Reddit. it on Reddit? Reddit. What, <laughs> does Kevin Clark have a subreddit? I read about it on Reddit. That's awesome, dude. Oh my god, and first thing in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First thing in the yep. morning, guys. <laughs> no way, dude. That had better be on the live stream table. Oh my goodness. That is, uh... He's gonna try and skunk him. I mean... I mean, he's always trying to skunk him. But... Oh, 
How do I search a topic? Uh, oh. Uh, oh, up above. Oh. Where it says search Reddit. I will, I will murder you. Yeah. I've had a good run. Pocket. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, your face. Oh, holy that, that hurts. Shit. Oh. That hurts. <laughs> Dang. momentarily so this is the perfect time for me to show you alternate break here we go guys so first of all this is the only spot on the queue where you can actually see a little bit of something that needs to be treated I don't think that this is anything that's just a, I think that's just a glare artifact I don't remember seeing that on the queue uh, but this is the little video that I took So that being the ivory, the bird's eye maple is really pretty. And honestly, the video doesn't do it justice. So yeah, very cool. And it, the jury's out if that's actually ivory on the butt or not. But yeah. If I looked at that, I wouldn't think it was. But I, you know. I don't know. I was made by uh, Steve Cornell. K O R N E L E. Wasn't that a. Uh... Oh no, that was Chris. Uh, the rock band. Who? who uh... No, Chris, Cor Chris Cornell. It's a. Uh... Is this a nine footer? Yeah, we're playing on uh, Diamond Blue Label Table. Hear it. Hard times billiards, Sacramento, California. Uh, Soundgarden, that's right. Born hype got to you. Got it to you first. Yeah, there we go. Temple of Alice Mudgarden. Alice in Chains? No. His, his bad. Alice in Mudgarden. What a name. gonna need a monster tonight yeah thoughts on Chinese eight ball I mean it's like probably one of the difficult most difficult ways to play pool that there is just <clears throat> like when balls end up here they're just not playable hmm. you know I mean they are but you have to hit them I don't know if I've ever, I don't know if I've ever seen that before 
Chinese eight ball? Yeah. It's on a uh, nine foot table mm -hmm. with snooker pockets, snooker like pockets. Oh. It's like a nine foot snooker table. And they play American eight ball rules. Like WPA eight ball rules. Okay. I believe. And I just can't stop yawning, and I want to so bad. Lisa! Dang. It's totally fine. Look, she tied up the two wall. I, uh. We can shoot it now, can he? Up table? Yeah. Yeah. You think he's gonna shoot this ball up table right now with the 12, the 14 ball sitting right there? I mean, he's supposed to. Yeah. Oh! Uh, do you? Do you? <laughs> uh, ow, ow. <laughs> no? Well, uh, dang. Oh, going for the bank? That would be like a per that's like dead perfect bank on the two where he was at. <laughs> so if you're playing a one pocket player and you leave them there, do they do they shoot that shoot at that too? No. From the last position? No. Maybe. I mean, cause like if they if they're playing one pocket, they sh they shoot at the ball, even with a ball hanging in the pocket, right? Yeah, but it's different. It's a little different, but not really. The 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 rack is already open here for the stripes. And the solids. Tell me you can make this two ball. Two off the uh, green. There is a picture of that cue on the on his website, Steve Cornell. Really. Under past cues. I don't see it. Uh, oh, is that it? No, that's not it. Oh, is it the second one? That's not it. No. There's a couple that are close, but... Yeah. I just looked for the ivory butt to, like, then splice. Yeah, the diamonds don't match on any of them. normal for him there was a guy <laughs> I did security at the Sacramento B and he'd walk in and he'd say cheerio to me you did all. security yeah who felt safe around you yeah you know everybody <laughs> so yeah. a little salty about it no the guy like it was funny because he'd he'd walk in and he had his briefcase and just walk in and he's Oh, cheerio. Mm. <laughs> and then it's like the best part of my day. <laughs> cheerio. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know that actually <laughs> like happened. Yo, what's up, Shadow Nails? Ooh. Honestly, I'm going to shoot the nine here. Like if you're you? If or? I'm Lisa, I'm shooting the nine. Okay. Because the two ball, if you miss it, or sorry, if you miss this oh, yeah, two I ball, you're, you're going to leave something for Venkat. Unless you really let the two ball roll. That's great. And she made a nice And she got and, perfect. And got rid of her problem ball. Dead perfect. 
cut the 14 in. Yeah. Back to center table, easy peasy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just make the ball. It's so just, easy. Just make the ball. Okay. Not bad. This two balls liable to go in the side pocket. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It leaves pretty good. What? It might. But... Oh, you left her doubled up? Yeah. You left her doubled I, up. You so... Can... What do you got? When, when he called over there, I was actually thinking, like... If you hit it that... If you hit it correctly... Correct... To get, to get safe? Yeah. If you play the kick and stick to get safe, it might go in the corner over there. Yeah. yeah. Or you leave it, or you leave her like down here. I like this rail first. Yeah, nice and slow. It's real nice, real yeah, like nice dead perfectly. Shot. So nice shot. Unfortunately, yeah, this is a, a do or die shot unless you play it absolutely pocket speed. Right. You know what I mean. And then if it doesn't go, it leaves the two ball hook. But you got to get pretty lucky there anyway. So it's like I might. No, the cross is the cross. Well, the cross will create more distance between the cue ball and the two. Yeah. If you miss. Real slow. Real slow. This might go too far. And Venkat's going to... Well, this is going to force Venkat to shoot a tough shot on the eight. Yeah. Oh, getting stretched out there. You see that? He threw a little elbow. Right. thought I was watching the sniper for a second. <laughs> Who was it that I was watching? I was watching a pro that had a little bit of the snap. Oh no, you know what? It was, it was uh, Scott Frost. Mm. Scott Frost has a little bit of sniper in him. <laughs> I see. This is what I meant. What do the numbers outside the scoreboard mean? Those are their Fargo rates. The player's Fargo rates. Which is a handicap system. Not really. Well, it's, it's a, a rating a system. Ratings, yeah. It's, yeah. I... Yeah. Close. The rating system can be used in an effort to handicap, but it is right. not designed to handicap. Right. Kind of like a chess rate rating system. Similar. Not the same. They're both ELO, aren't they? They are ELO rating systems, yeah. Holy oh, my. almost made it. Oh, he hit that good. Yeah. Unfortunate. You know, this is a tough shot. But I think that's so, a bit of a deserved hand flip there. Yeah. Just playing safe. I'd say you gotta go. I say you gotta I mean, go. I mean, I you know, like if I'm playing, I shoot it. But I was just going again for them. You know. I, you gotta go. Okay. At least can definitely make this shot. Yes, mm -mm. she can't. Oof, I thought she made it. Tough shot. And most people miss it in that, like on that side. Sure, yeah, overcut, yeah. Because they're, like, sometimes people aim because they're aiming for, like, the center of the pocket. Uh huh. And which is the actually back of the pocket. <laughs> right, which which is which is actually aiming towards the rail. Yeah, that's actually exactly where she hit the ball. As if she was aiming back here. Yeah. Because you right. need you need to aim further to the And that's how she hit it. And then cut gonna get to a two one lead. Mm hmm In this race to five. Bros. I'm never gonna get used to that. <laughs> Seeing your face in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally the best emote that we have. Yeah. yeah. I won't disagree.
I'm really excited for the second set. Oh, yeah. That should be interesting. Yeah. 8-4. 8-4-9-5. What, what do you think? Uh, I think David should be the favorite. But, and here's how I think about it. David, <laughs> David and I, I think I have a little edge on David. Okay. Playing even up. Yeah. But it's not much of an edge. Right. To where... Like any given day, if we're playing a bunch of races to three, mm -hmm. uh, you know, if we played every day a few sets a day, by the end of the week, I'd be the winner. I'm almost certain. But on any given day, it could go either way. Uh, but that being said, I know for a fact Rudy can't give me eight four. Yeah. Well, you pocket balls a little right. better though, so would well, that I run be... balls. So if right. I get an opportunity, I run. I can run the. Um, some yeah, some somebody is saying. But David might get to the, the shot more often than I do. Right, they're saying the music is too loud. Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> there, that's the level it's usually at. Thanks for the heads up, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, this is in Sacramento, California, Hard Times Billiards. No problem, Matt. There are quite a few uh, rather large tournaments over here throughout the year. We just had, um, they had the uh, Lucasi West Coast Tour, which runs what? It's like here. Next stop is San in San Diego, Diego at On Q. Okay. Uh, third weekend in May, I believe. Let me double check that. Uh. <laughs> Ain't far from the truth, Alpha. <laughs> Antarctica. <laughs> Here you go. Next stop, May 18th and 19th, San Diego, or La Mesa, really. It's one of the surrounding areas. Matt Druid is a, uh, I think you got one of the gifted subs on the channel. You can use those emotes. That's why your name is green in the chat. You can use these uh, exclusive chat emotes. Nice. Wait, is that a new one? Lieutenant Dangle. Officer Dangle. Yeah. I, yeah, I thought, um, what's the show? Uh, Reno 911. Yeah. yeah. I thought that's what it was. You just walk into hard times and it feels like Antarctica. Um, <laughs> God, I came in here on Tuesday and it was like, oh. dude, Matt Drew had jumping right in the mix and using the emote. He says, I just tried to do the Super Billiards Expo PPV, but the site isn't working. This is better for the price anyway. Free. <laughs> yeah. Freedom. <laughs> oh, my. Wait. Now Kevin shaving the beard? What? I mean, he trimmed it at least. Where's he at? Right, right on the next table. Uh, table three. He just, he just sat down.
I was going to say, that guy has came out of the womb with facial hair. <laughs> I am definitely always playing against my sanity. <laughs> Shot from Lisa. Now what? Hmm. Yo, what's up? Uh, Tony, what's going on, buddy? Throw down. Tony? Tony Best. 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 Throw down. That's the stream out of Modesto. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? <clears throat> She's slicing and dicing this five and. Slice and dice the five minutes. Nice. Not so nice. I was I was gonna Bush, Bush, not best. My bad. Bush. I knew Bush. it wasn't Yeah. I, I got knew the B, right? And the fact that it was four letters. Yeah. There's an there's a B and an S in there. I... In the same positions. <laughs> yeah. I only missed by two letters, Tony. I did pretty good. <laughs> I suck with names, man. <laughs> slice, slice, baby. Dude. Do, 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 do. Who the heck is Tony Best? I know a Tony Best. <laughs> there, is a, there is a Tony Best, I think. That I know. Nope. Tony Bush? Just Bush. Yeah. He's the only one that I... Yeah. Only one that's even close. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I, I I don't know. At first, I thought it was like digging for gold. Wait, what? But wait, what? Um, okay. I don't know. Just oh, leave it at that. Okay. What's up, Frowny? Is Frowny here? Frowny. Oh, Edie's here. Hi, Edie. <laughs> She's calling safe. She she gave oh. the old kill signal. She says I'm not shooting anything. What was that, Ben? What? What? He made a little gesture. I'm not sure what it was. Mm. Ooh, we should turn up this. So now I have it set up where we can we can turn up our monitor. Wow, how did you get that to happen? Did you play a ticky? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. But now this way we can hear what's going on out there. Right. If we want to turn it way up. Oh dang, that's way up there. Yeah. But then that it doesn't affect the stream. Oh, gotcha. Right. Yeah, yeah. And and there's a speaker out front as well. You already know this. Yeah. So we can turn up our mics and talk to them. Right. Yeah. You talked to me. That's right. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, if you ever if you ever come to hard times, Collins is sleeping in the booth, and he is uh, probably, or, or he's eavesdropping on you. One of the two. Mm. I think Lisa still has the advantage in this rack because of where the twelve sitting. Oh. But I mean, he can just make the I'm still I'm still on the colors or he can make the orange shoot the purple and even if he doesn't make the purple he's still got a huge advantage mm. oh that's where it is I've seen Tony best in the chat that's right oh you see like uh, from there like, why is he what uh bank it bank it 
Oh Are my. you kidding me? He like zero stroked it. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then he just throws a hand up like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? He, he, he didn't even like, oh my, oh damn. I feel like this one's wired after watching that last shot. This is a hanger. Oh yeah, just just cut it all the way down. You don't need to bank it. I don't think you can bank it. The four's in the way. Uh, How is this line helping you? <laughs> oh my god, it goes. Oh, it doesn't go. <laughs> Ven Cat Van Boeing. Oh my god. <laughs> That was just silliness. I, he didn't even, like, he just, he didn't even look at it. He just, like, put the cue down and, like. Pretty understandable if Lisa might be a little bit on tilt after that. <laughs> but she doesn't leave anything for Venkat. I mean, no. it's a, a tough cut. I mean, it's an absolute hanger compared to the last one, but... <laughs> this ball should go in on its own. He's <laughs> trying to bank it? What? No. I'm not sure what we're measuring here. No. No. The one's entirely in the way. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah. There you go. That's, that's better. This eight's gonna get in the way, isn't oh. it? It is gonna get in the way. <laughs> That's so sick. Pool is. Oh. <sighs> so how, what do you? What do you do? Pull out the jump cue. I I guess I try and this is okay. I try and kick at it the other on um, from the short rail and just hit it thin, but it's so hard to get safe out of it, you know. Oh, Lisa, 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 getting the bad rolls at the wrong time. Got to make sure that everyone knows which pocket he's shooting into. There you go. Then cut. 3-1. In the lead. I don't like it. I need it. But I love it. Is this the the young Rance Nichols hanging out with Mr. Henson and Redbeard Kev? Kevin Kevin? Don't tell Kevin he's on TV. Don't tell him he doesn't want to he doesn't want to know it. Ooh. I used to not be able to beat that guy. Well, there you go. Looks like we're going to be having our uh, Friday night eight ball tournament starting soon. They're drawing it up on the board right now. There they go. Drawing it up. Not too many players this week. Wow. Maybe 20? 20, 23? David McParlin getting loose for the one pocket that's coming up after after this. 
Or maybe he's just playing eight ball. Looks like he's hitting the ball pretty good. laws surrounding that if if this is ivory in this queue right yeah like a big hunk of ivory in right. the queue right yeah, yeah. what are the laws about like say if i sell it to a queue maker and would he be able to then use that ivory and sell it in queues since it was ivory that was purchased before the ban oh i see what you're saying or is it because he'd be making a new product with it that it's it's not sellable, non-fungible. Hmm. Fungible is probably not the right word for that, but you get what I'm saying. I understand. I'm I, sure there's I someone in the know. chat that knows the answer to that question. Someone in the chat will make something up. I am sure of it. Dang, is it 20% more uh, mental fortitude to make the last object fall? Yep. Hmm. Otherwise, 80% of the time, you'll miss it. What is that? There's there's a, there's a rule. Uh, so it's the P. So, so Michael, Mike Aldaffer, so how would then Phil be able to prove that it was pre-ban ivory? Would we have to, like, record the sale and, like, have all this paperwork that this guy sent me? And Because I'm thinking about if it is a big hunk of ivory. I know a cue maker that might want to use it. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I understand. Ooh, nice shot uh, by Vencat right there. Oh, no, no. He called the five. Okay. Called the wrong ball. Oh. Janet Lee had a heart attack. Oh, yeah.
don't tell the ivory police exactly. <laughs> Tough out here. Yeah. Uh, alpha. I don't know. One of the things that helps, that has helped me, is just um, focusing on breathing, um, or even like incorporating breathing into my pre-shot routine. Your pre-shot, oh. wow, <laughs> wow, Lisa, wow. <laughs> Your pre-shot routine needs to be so well defined that every bit of it is useful, right? There's no fluff. So every bit of your routine needs to be useful all the way down to, you need to be having the same thoughts on every single shot. Like your brain needs to be doing the same type of checklist every single time. And you need to have that checklist in your mind so well defined that if anything else enters it, or if you don't hit every single one of those things, you know you're going to miss the ball. Because there's no room for anything extra in pool. Now, you might be able to make a shot with extra stuff going on in your mind. That's definitely possible. But to do it every single time with no mistakes, there's no room. I always have extra stuff. Jesus, Ben. <laughs> he did. He did like a, like, a squat, as he was doing the shot too. That's... Oh my God! Lisa's gonna feel like she's getting heisted by a three seventy three. <laughs> <laughs> For the record, guys, Ven is a legit 373 Fargo. <laughs> and 373s do not pocket balls that well. Yeah. This Holy guy, though. Crap. Woo! Good lord. Honestly, after the last shots that he just made. This is, this is he easy. Could, he could probably make this shot, too. But if he misses it, he, he hits it into the long rail, and the eight ball goes, goes like this. Yeah, little little investment winnings. Um, ooh. ooh, he overcut it. Wow, I can't believe get he overcut that ball. Tell me he's tell me she's corner hooked. Oh, Not quite. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> the yellow club makes him the four fifty. <laughs> Yikes. What up, Gary? Oh, no. Oh. oh. Damn. His glove matches his cue also. She's Louise Venkat on the hill already.
Would you say the race was in the second match? Race into four, I believe. I, I they're probably going to keep negotiating until mm. the match starts. So, ah, gotcha. When's the next tournament Fetter is in? Do you know? Uh, Fetter is traveling right now. He's in Russia. Uh, I believe he's playing the uh, World Pool Masters. Right? Yeah, Fetter's on the card for World Pool Masters in Germany, April 25th through 28th. I was about to go get a monster and uh, and a little uh, round two of the fireballs. Um, oh god! Uh, do you want? Can I get you something, or do you? Oh, uh, want to step out? I'm, I'm not trying to hold you in here. No, no, no. no. Um, uh, just uh, the white monster. Yeah. Your white monster is ready. Uh. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> I'm trying to remember who it was. Somebody said Rogan plays like probably uh, six, close to 650. It might have been Fetter. Yeah, I might do that winning. Hey, Fetter, here's uh, $50, you know? Have a blast. <laughs> I'm not saying he's wrong, but I wouldn't I wouldn't say 650 is just under professional. Mm. 
good enough to beat a pro, but... Do I get to tell... Winning, do I get to tell my, my Efren story? Uh... <laughs> Well, I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd say just under pro would be like seven. Because what? Like, I think tech be what? 720 is pro. There's some guys in here that are like 710 speed who aren't pros, but are pretty damn close, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. So I come in. So I come into hard times one day, and the uh, um, there was a manager that um, that knows Efren and uh, Busamane and all them pretty well. And so I walk in, and he's standing there with Efren, and he and he tells he tells me, "Hey, uh, you do you want a game?" And I said, "Oh, I'm I'm broke. I knew I knew Efren played chess, so uh, so I said oh, I'll play him chess just for fun. So I go and I sit down, and we're about to start playing. And one of one of the guys in the pool hall walks is walking by, and he's and he says, "Hey, are you guys playing for anything?" And I said, "I said, ah, oh, no." He says, uh, "So so he so he tells me, oh, I'll put you in for two dollars a game." I'm like, oh, don't put the pressure on me, you know? So, so we played two games, and uh, I won both of them. And, and he just, he's just, he walks off, and he said, he says, and he says, oh, you play good. And so he just walks in the back room, and he, uh, and he plays uh, the roofer, like um, Steve Housh, who's a local. He plays the roofer for like a, a set for like three grand. So, um, So Efren owes me four dollars now. I can now I can now say that a world world champion owes me four dollars. Thank you so much. Oh God, no, 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 oh, God. He's, oh God. Oh. Aaron, Aaron has started something. No, no. Oh God. Oh. Oh, yes, you did. God. Oh. I'm I'm, I'm gonna sip on this thing. Ugh. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy, happy Friday. Oh, where's that? Yeah. God, I just, nah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm we gonna... made it. All right, guys, we did it. <laughs> we made it to Friday. Uh, I'm gonna drink my energy drink. Uh. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah I, I was the only one that beat him in anything that that whole week he just he just le he left the tournament because he got some action oh so what's up alan so some somebody was telling me um they didn't say Play that it I, on me they didn't say that i played like him but i ran ar i run around the table like he does mm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. not like when I get down on the ball, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just saying, just saying. Yes. And what is up, Alan? What is up? <laughs> so you're basically the same then. Uh, what? Fireball, God! <laughs> I, was, I, I was only gonna have one beer today, and right, that was gonna be it. it. Then don't okay. touch it. No one's making you. Okay. Right. You, you gonna kill it later? I yeah. Probably not. But. Uh. I mean, honestly, you leave it like that with the cap off, it'll be good tomorrow. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I'm serious, right? Something yeah. with that high sugar content? Mm. True. Right? Nothing's gonna... Nothing's gonna happen to it. Mm, David and Tish. Tish is now here. Hey. I heard her. <laughs> Did she? Oh, oh no. Oh. oh, this is going to be a long game. Yeah. Settle in, folks. We could be here for an hour playing this game. <laughs> You gotta say solids have an advantage. Wait, who's playing in an eight ball tournament in, a, in Modesto? Pretty good shot there. Yeah. What What do you do though? Well, you gotta try to get ball in hand at some point. So you can play the two in the bottom right corner. Oh. It's the only way that anybody wins this game. Don't try and get cute with the two. Just she's going to cross it. I mean, like not like try and make it, but the but problem here is you if you run cross into it, the nine. Yeah, and the nine goes into the eight. Yeah. You might actually be able to play the two into the rail and then take the nine and two out of there. Just to kind of move the game forward. Yeah. But you'd rather Ven be the one to do that somehow. Right. But there's no real way to get the nine to miss the eight. So that's why I say solids have the advantage in this game because they basically... Does the, the nine ball. go? No. No chance. Off the rail. Mm, probably not. I gotta say, probably not. You could use the nine to take the eight out, though, I think. You know who the guy was that was playing... Uh Rudy earlier, Asian guy. Um, I don't know his name. Okay. I don't. A lot of new faces. He, yeah, he. I talked to him for a minute. I don't remember his name. Did I play him? I think I played him in one of the tournaments. Oh, wait. Uh oh! Are you kidding me? <laughs> and did he? Don't tell me. She can see the two. No, no. Oh my God! Imagine if that ball hung up. <laughs> what is going on here? Nine goes now, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if anything, you could double kiss the eight out and the nine hangs in the pocket. But look you know? at the two. The two and the uh, orangey. Naranja. Mm. Mm. 
You gotta shoot the 13 first, right? The, uh... The... Red? No. For purple? Yeah. Oh, we could see it. I no, the eight, eight moved out. No, I just meant I thought the ten hooked him. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Now there's no there's no pattern anymore. Not not for a guy without a you know a real smooth draw stroke on a jacked up. Right. Shot, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Good luck. There were some guys that came in from Grass Valley yesterday that played good. Really? Yeah. Huh. I wonder if I know them. I didn't get names, but looks like probably, I'd say, 600. A good hit. Monster. Big Queen told us to wake up, so. No, wake up is, uh. Wake up! <laughs> we turn on the lights in the arena! I'm at the tippity top. I'm at the tippity top of the mountain. And I'm really only halfway up. Is he trying to cut this in? Tell me. Show me a good time. I'm raising his Fargo like 100 points if he cuts his ball in. What's he looking at here? Just making sure the five don't go. He wants to run out the stripes and the solids. Disappoint me, Ben. Oh. Begging it. Just begging it. <laughs> Randy, I haven't even touched the fireball yet. It's a fake one. I put my finger over the top. Yeah. Mmm, cinnamon. Horrible. She has beautiful eyes and her hair smells like cinnamon. That's okay. Okay, gets it on the same side of the table as the seven. It's right by the pocket. 13 ball still tied up. There ain't no way in hell. Ben Cat's going to make this 12 and draw back to break out the cluster. There's no chance. Yes, he is, Big Queen. Okay, now what? Hmm. Ooh. And here's where you just get ball in hand. Just like roll the five up towards the seven. No, what? 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 what, what? Or <laughs> do the worst thing possible. Double up. Oops. Oops. Mm. 
Mm. Lisa's like, if I don't get out here. Shoot the five. You got to shoot the five into this side, Lisa. Mm -hmm. Because if you shoot the five into this side and you play a stop shot, you're rolling okay. this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But then if you shoot the five into this side and you roll out too far, all of a sudden you got a weird angle going into the rail. Right. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Now you're moving a little bit too much towards the seven where speed is a big part of the shot now. Yep. Where if she played it the other way, exactly the same way, she would have had the perfect angle to hit it like any speed that she wanted to um, to have a really nice angle on the seven. But we'll see if she gets there. Oh, she nice. hit it real soft, real nice. Ooh, oh, it hangs up. No, 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 no. Oh, and she left Venkut straight in on the 13, and he's been playing laser beam stroke all night. Yeah. Oh, God, and now he's going to ice her. Uh, oh, God, that hurts. <laughs> really? I got to go have a quick smoke. <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's tilting. I don't know. I'm I know that there's no ill right, intention right, right, right. behind yeah. it, but there's just certain <laughs> things that you just don't do. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, t walk around the table a few times if you got to settle, settle your nerves or right. something, you know what I mean? But if yeah. you just got to make this straight-in shot <laughs> and the eight that's hanging in the corner, you know, you don't got to walk away for a couple minutes before you do yeah. it. Lisa's probably, I couldn't hear what she was saying, but she's probably talking something about it. It, doing this is essentially the same thing as, you know, you got quad aces in a, in a oh. giant pot, and then the guy turns over his hand, and you're like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And then you turn over your quad aces. Right, right, right. You know? Yeah, yeah. This is like exactly a slow roll. Oof. And I know he's not intending it to right. be that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. But it still feel. it doesn't change how it feels mm -hmm. when you're the one... Just sitting there, like waiting. Yeah, like I'm sitting I've, in that chair, just waiting. I, 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 I played Joey once. Uh, Here he comes. And I don't remember what he was giving me, but like I miss. And there's like three or four balls on the table, and he starts like, and they're all like in the pocket, and he starts like. Oh uh, yeah, and I and I was like, I'm just sitting there, and I was just like, all Hold right. On. It's before you. before he shoots this, <laughs> yeah. Can I just say, I kind of hope he misses it. <laughs> no ill feelings, right, like that's right, not yeah, just yeah. like just for pure. Anyway, what were you saying? Balls all hanging, but like so all the and all he does miss it. <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Yeah, so there's there's so there's like balls all hanging the hole, and he starts like. Putting the ball in a spot, and then he like changes and like puts it in, and I was just like, all right, just take the game. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like, exactly. Dude, like, yeah, yeah. Let's get on with it. <laughs> yeah. Again, guys, if you if you're new to the stream and and uh, and you don't know me and you don't know the players and haven't like witnessed any of the backstory behind any of this, then you might think that a few of the things that I said were out of line, but it's not at all the case i mean i'm sure all the play both the players watching this back will understand what i'm saying and and uh and not feel bad and not about feel it. bad about it yeah 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 jealous i'm i'm sure there will be at some point an explanation but who knows maybe lisa will come back and win the thing now she slow rolled it what's gonna happen she made the ball. Okay, good <laughs> shot, Lisa. Let's go. Make it interesting. Mm. Not, dead yet. Not dead yet, she says. <laughs> Bring out your dad. I'm not dead yet. Oh, well, there he goes again. <laughs> oh. Maybe he's hungry. He ordered some food, you know?
<laughs> yes. Yes, Mike. Is Shannon in Vegas right now? Oh, it took me like way too long. I assume they mean Shannon, the legend. Hmm? They asked if Shannon is if Shannon is in Vegas right now. What's in Vegas? Is is? I don't know, but I don't know. Yeah, that's the other thing too. Jealous, right? Is is it's like, how do you know if he didn't do that? He might have just speared the thing in the corner. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Where yeah, instead yeah. he moved away from the table, took his mind off the game, whatever he had to handle. Maybe right. he had to go handle something. I don't know. Right. Right. But just in that exact moment, I just think it's, you know, probably the right thing to do to just settle your nerves, walk around the table a few times if you need to, take a couple deep breaths, and then right. shoot the shot. Mm hmm. <laughs> it what is it born she said she was going there for APA it was in the oh. last uh, message that he wrote grubs mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. I just burned my tongue <laughs> <laughs> The Anchorman quotes <laughs> will always. I've never seen that movie. You've never seen Anchorman? I've not, I, yeah. Dude, when it came out and that humor hadn't been like totally, right. totally played out, you know? Right. It was so good. Yeah. But now all that humor has been taken to the next level, like, and, and just beat to death, right? By, right. Right. You know, <laughs> movies like The Other Guys, like uh, which I love. Right. But the reason I love it is because I'm, like, nostalgic about Will Ferrell now. Right. right. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, Step Brothers, all that same kind oh, of humor, yeah, yeah. you know. Just obnoxious. Three ball doesn't go. Definitely doesn't go. Uh, how do we? Yeah, back in high school, me and some of the guys learned how to learn ballet to make fun of the the guys that dance like that. <laughs> Wait, you mean you learned to dance like that sarcastically? <laughs> he loves you very much, Francine. Okay. Get a rail. That's what I'm talking about. The freaking Catalina wine mixer. <laughs> He's just... He's in like, dead punch. In <laughs> absolute dead punch. He's just like firing balls in. It's crazy. I, I could tell. He didn't even like get down on that one. Yeah. And his cue was kind of like going like this. Yeah.
I mean, he'd been slamming them all, but right. but that, you know, like I said, that one he like didn't get set. Kind of yeah. like move the cue around. This might go. Did she call did, that? Did she call that? I guess. Venkat's clapping for her. <laughs> and now she don't have a shot. Wow. The rail first doesn't even go on this three ball. Uh, yeah. I just I just kick at the seven. I don't care. I don't want to move the three. Or leave. Ooh, that's good that that ball didn't fall. What a shot. Bowl in hand. Wait. She clipped the 12. Oh. Yeah, were you, you weren't even looking? No. No? No. I wasn't paying attention. Just, just drinking my monster. My white monster. Giggity. Oh, this is going to be a foul for sure. Frozen? Thank you, Mr. Salmon. And Ven's like, how is that a foul? Can't shoot through that one, Ven. Yeah. When it's that <laughs> close, it's a double hit. If it's frozen, you can shoot through it. But Oh, Lisa. Oh, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Oh, yeah, that'll drive you up the wall, that feeling right there. Well, still... Two balls hanging yeah, in the Yeah, I was going to say, Ven has to get out here, so. And, and he might. Probably not. Yeah. Make the nine in the purple. Wait. You don't know which one the purple one is? That's, uh. Are you serious? That's the. Oh my 11? god, look at the 13 go off of the and go up table. We're going to have a hill-hill match, folks. We are going to have a hill-hill <laughs> match. Uh, 10 is blue, so that means 12. Yep. I'm so oh, smart. Oh, oh. Hey, 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 hey. I am so oh smart. Oh my god, she almost got blocked. Oh, Ven's just got to take a look and make sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> personality. I love you, Ben. So strong. So strong. Ooh, she missed it. But look, she left nothing. Nine balls wired. Where is it wired? Shut up, Alan. It actually, like, I actually think <laughs> like, you almost can't miss it. Yeah, she's she's got to get more comfortable with stroking the ball, yeah. Can we get a top? We got that top view? Oh, that top. Oh, Oop, oh, no, oh, we don't. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we certainly do not. Ooh, look at this cue ball. Hmm. Ben's going to give it to her. And we have a hill, hill match. What a shocker. Hill, hill on hill. hill. hill Good luck to the players here. Case game. Case game. Somebody was arguing about uh, Hill Hill, or it's not Hill Hill, it's Case Game. It's like... Who said that? Like, we, sh we shall not name names. No, we... Who is, <laughs> is it anyone that I know? Was it Paul? No, it was uh, Scott. Scott, Scott the, the Shot? shot. 
Scott's gonna come on, Scott. No, no, but nobody knows. Nobody says. Scott, the shot. <laughs> All right, you ready to do this fireball? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be a, a, a responsible adult. All right, then put that over mm. here. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I like, yeah. yeah. It's not a real shot, guys. This thing is essentially like wine. Yeah. Right? 17% ABV. So this is like a two ounce glass of strong wine. I put that on my cereal. <laughs> oh damn, I can smell that too. Cinnamon. <laughs> It's like I just ate a whole pack of Big Red. Is that even gum anymore? Is Does Big Red still exist, guys? I don't... I don't remember seeing Big Red in a long time. You remember now doing that the, I think about that? Do you remember doing the Big Red challenge? Before people called things the challenge, you know? What, like wait. the Ice Bucket challenge, like the, the Cinnamon challenge. like what What was the Big Red challenge? Do you did you ever do the thing where they where you take a a wrapper from Big Red, lick it and stick it on your forehead and like try to outlast the other guy? It stings. It hurts, dude. We learned something new. But wait, somebody in the chat. Yes, don't tell me yes. I, I, oh, yes means that it's still around, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought I thought he was saying yes to the Big Red Challenge because I I weep for humanity, you know. <laughs> we did it on our arms or legs, not our foreheads, dude. It's so much worse on your forehead because. Because on your arm or your leg, you can see the thing there. But when it's on your forehead, you can't see it, right? So have you ever had the, you know, like if you get like a cut on something? Mm. Sometimes it, you, it like doesn't even hurt until you right. see it. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So same idea. It like sneaks up on you when you have it on your forehead. And then all of a sudden it's just You're like, like, oh my God, I put a wrapper on my forehead. But I don't know that it's there. No, it's, I'm serious. Because you can't actually <laughs> see the thing on you. It, it does the same thing. <laughs> oh, I'm having. Wait. Ooh, Lisa has. Ooh. So, I feel like Big Queen has like infected you. This 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 feels this feels like a like a Big Queen story. I'm just saying, you know. I got to I got to <laughs> There he is. <laughs> Big Queen has nothing to do with it. I gotta keep it to one sentence these days, otherwise hey. I'll pass out. Hey, big queen. Hey there. Man. I'm... I feel sad that I learned this today. I'm gonna be driving around at 3 a.m. crying, thinking about this. Good. Yeah. Good. Send me video. <laughs> My face is a little red. I was I was working out in the sun today. Not working out, but like working out in the sun. And this happens every year. Like after winter, the first few 
like weeks of full on sun all day, I'll get I'll get sunburned a few times. Notice I'm only sunburnt on this side. I'm not sunburnt over here. Goodies, hoodies, same thing, you know? Yeah. Thank you, Alan. Yo, what's up, Bang Time? Oh, hello. Hello. Tie up the whole game, why don't you? Mm. He, I don't. Uh, Big Queen, uh, Phil Prentice is the best that I know. I do love Red Hots. Oh my god. <laughs> and they're like center of the bag. I, it, it's crazy. <clears throat> Man. Now I'm cra craving Cinnabon, too. Right behind the 11. Mm-hmm. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> did you guys hear that? <laughs> how, how, did you, how did you feel about it? <laughs> <laughs> the raw emotion. <laughs> Dude. Uh. <clears throat> Good evening. Whoop, that's going to be a foul. Yeah. What is that? What? Slim's. The thing Slim posted? I can't see it. Meet me. You want me to zoom in on that one too? Oh. Yeah. Hey there. Hey. <laughs> oh. oh. There she is. Oh my gosh, she might have. Wait, what's Oscar? What match is Oscar in? I thought he was playing in the morning. What's he, what's he playing right now? Yeah, he does. And the way he's been hitting the ball. <laughs> what is this? He's back cutting it. Wow. Josh Thiel? Feely? What are they playing for? And where can I watch? What's up, JB? I gotta ask, what is this? A grudge match for 300? Every Friday night, we do local heads-up matches. And each player has to bet at least 100. So that everyone knows that they're taking the game seriously. So this is a little race to five between a couple of circa 400 Fargo players. And they put in 150 bucks a piece. And they've played before. Who won last time? Venkat got it last time. Venkat. Um, okay. So the uh, the next thing we have going on is some one pocket action between David McParland. 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 <laughs> McParland. And uh, Rudy Estoke. Rudy Estoke being one of the better one-pocket players in the, I would say, greater local Northern California area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's given up 8-4-9-5. So when, when Rudy breaks, he's given up 8-4. When David McParlin breaks, he's given up 9-5. Nice so, oh, um, and I, They're playing for anywhere up to 500 bucks a man, so... And it's going to be either race to three or four. They're, they're going to let me know what they decided on when we go live. So 
That's coming up right after this game. One pocket action. You wouldn't go for the 15 there? This is okay. I mean, you're not. I mean, I understand, out. but. You got to play this like the up table game. This is yeah. this is like. <laughs> this is like your hill hill right now, right? Right. This is like old Chicago style one pocket. Yeah. Let the other guy give you the shot. Yeah. Like. This is like, okay. Like. It's okay to move the nine out right now and draw the cue ball back, but I don't know if Lisa's got the, the draw control needed to put the cue well, ball on the short rail. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, live on PA Pro Am? No kidding. For free? Mute the dang thing. Yeah, I guess <coughs> waiting for him to shoot at the three ball actually isn't necessarily a bad idea. They go into eight, nine, eight. No idea. Look what are this. the stakes on that match? Do you guys know? Uh. Well, what's going on with the camera? This kind of get that kind of gives me a. Uh, I'm telling you, like uh, a little bit of a seizure. I'm telling you, this right here <laughs> goes a long way. Like the actual centering of the. Yeah. Yeah. Like, look, I just realized I'm off center. Boom. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just playing with my toys. Yeah, see how the this touches the edge? The same way that it touches the edge here. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you know it's centered and level. So that kind of thing right there. Yeah. It's the subtle things. That <laughs> it's that. It looks like it's like. Oh, yeah, watch. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think it's I think it's more the like more of the table is yeah keep your ear to the ground freedom mm. oh is it just a it's a gambling match. Oscar said about 10k. Coming in hot. We're getting down to the end of it here. Lisa's got ball in hand. Why are you not shooting the nine ball, Lisa? Here's the shot here. Make the three. No. And no. like roll forward? No, uh, I actually leave the three there mm -hmm. and just stop the rock. Or like Yeah. Or even or even put the cue ball here, right? Mm -hmm. Bank the nine. Don't try to make it. Or even if you do make it, that's fine. Right, right, right. But no, just yeah, play yeah, the yeah. cue ball to come out like right out here. Yeah. This is this is uh okay as well. I see what she's uh, trying yeah, to yeah, do. Yeah, no, here. I like this actually. I see what she's trying to do here. It's pretty good. Yeah. And it even, it even covers up the bank. It even yeah. blocks the bank. <laughs> Freedom! Well, I don't know 
if we declared if that ball was frozen or not, but yeah, we're going to roll with it. You can't shoot in this 15 ball, Lisa. Lisa, here's the deal on this 15 ball. If you watch this back, Lisa, even if you make this ball right now, it's irrelevant. You have to think about out of 100 times that you shoot this ball, how many are you making it? Because when you don't make it, you lose the game almost every time. But she hit it great. Where on the other hand, if she just rolls up on the nine ball, you yeah. know what I mean, and leaves no shot on the three, uh, likelihood that you have something to look at on the next shot is, right. is a little bit better. Let's go, Lisa. <laughs> wow. I'm still sticking to what I said, but those were a couple of really great shots. Sometimes you just got to go with what feels good, too. That would be the only counter argument that I would 100% agree with is if it feels right, sometimes you just know it's going to go. Right. And she takes it. Lisa McCord steals the set away. Wow. wow. Yeah. Absolute theft because Ben had it. He was down, straight in. Down two balls four, two. Yeah. Mm. Wow, dude. Wow, and Oscar won his set, racing to eight. I wonder what they were wagering. I wonder what the wager. Where's my camera here? Way to go, Lisa. Breaking even now. Then Kat and Lisa are now even in the long run. Ben's kind of explaining everything. Man, what, what we did here, what you did there. There it is. Somebody said 10K, yeah. I think I believe that. <laughs> yeah, sometimes there's like, you know, people will say right shot, wrong shot. Right. That is one thing which I've always, <laughs> like sometimes you just get down and you just. You just know. And then sometimes you get down a ball and you just know you can't make it. Right. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, there have been times in <laughs> matches, in matches where like, for instance, <laughs> right. Where, like, for instance, there's a, a, I have, like, cue ball here, mm -hmm. uh, another ball here, right? right? And there are instances in I've, at least two or three different times when I've been at least at the point of knowledge in my game where, like, I, I feel like I know what technically we're supposed to do, you know what I mean? Like, right. what the general theory in the game is, right. you know what I mean? And my execution would normally state that I should either cut this ball here or here. Right. Right? But in that moment, I just knew, for whatever reason, exactly how I was stroking the ball or whatever the conditions were on the table, that the bank was going to go. Right. And yeah, I yeah, shot yeah. the bank, and yeah, it just yeah. went in the heart of the pocket. Right. And in those situations, my overall percentage is very high because right. I rarely ever shoot that shot unless right. I just know it's the, the shot that works right in that moment. You right. know what I mean? And so there is something to that. It's a little woo-woo. It's a little woo-woo, I know. Okay, Ruben, relax. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I don't... I don't know if it's actually woo-woo, but it's just like... Most of the time, when you get down, like... If you're a good enough player, when you get down on the ball, you know when you're making the ball. You know when you're missing. You know, you know, it's like... Yeah. Yep. There's, uh, call them intangibles. And most of the time you even know, like, where you're going to miss, you know? Yep. Whether it's, whether, whether it's a self-fulfilling prophecy or, like... And sometimes your name is McParland. Three. Lisa. You stole the set. He had it in his hands. Mm. And then he decided to take a little break and put you on ice, but it iced he iced himself and missed the shot and he came back and won the set. Nice Hell job. yeah, girl, let's go. That was fun to watch. That was very fun to watch. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Good night. You, you too. Let's get the Fargos here. Uh, wait, hold on. He's Blue Rudy's trying to say something. Rudy, you talking to me? Go, you got to go by the table. I can't hear you.
You guys doing what we talked about? Can you hear me? Race to three for five? Race to five for three? Race to three for five. I can't turn this mic up much higher. We'll get feedback. Sorry about the uh, echo, guys. I got to go to the Looks like they're posting right now. Sure, sure. All right, guys. So we're going to play some one hole here. Ooh, I don't have a... Do I have... Hold on. My graphic's not set up. Give me a second. I got I to gotta make a new graphic really quick. So we don't have ball count yet. Oh, and I got to get their Fargos up there. So let's do that first. And Carlin is currently... Five two nine. Rudy is six five Let me get the. Uh, I got. I got to go into Photoshop real quick, guys. Sorry. <clears throat> oh no! Do I not have it? Okay, cool. Yeah, I drank almost a gallon today. Yep, it's a big Fargo difference, and that's why there's a lot of weight, you know? <laughs> yeah, these players are playing. Uh... Thank you, Venkat. Thank you. Thank you, Venkat. Have a good night. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, and David does know uh, One Pocket fairly well also, so. Um, and he's actually... Mm -hmm. Sir. Oh, that's a great kid. Yeah. So can I have another date with JD? 
Whenever you have any JD? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe something. Uh, Whatever date you have. Yeah, yeah, end of the month, maybe. Yeah. End of the month? Yeah. Yeah, yeah someday so in the I'm end of the month. Vegas for $300 yeah. So after April 22nd, I'm, any, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So maybe like the 3rd, 4th, 5th, or 6th of May. May. Okay. Fine. Yeah, yeah. Third, fine. Third, third or 10th. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
really good for Rudy that he left him right here because even if the cue ball's right here, all of a sudden you can play the eight off the 15. Oh, yeah, yeah. And now David, I'm, I know David's game. He doesn't have, uh, he doesn't jack up well. So he's just going to send him way up. He needs him really close to the rail here. Or Rudy will shoot at this, four, this five ball. Oh, yeah, 100%. Pretty big favorite to make it, too. And get on the eight. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Yow. Yow. Ooh. Ooh, and it pops out. Not quite bankable. But David can hit this ball, this five ball, with a touch of inside spin here. And just, or it doesn't even need spin. Bank the five back this way. Not even trying to make it, just creating pressure and leaving the cue ball right up in here is the goal. Right. You got a catcher's mitt right there, so even if you hit it a little harder, what's he doing here? He's shooting at the eight. Don't you want to He's remove the five? Just Don't you want to remove the five? Oh. Now you just left the bank for Rudy. That was a mistake. Yeah. Yeah, that was no good. Sorry, the chat was lagging, guys. I just fixed it. Let me see what I missed. Make sure you let me know if the jukebox is bleeding through on the the, the room mic, guys. I'm actually going to turn this up a hair. I just turned my music up a hair because I, I think the jukebox is on pretty loud tonight, guys. And Rudy does make the bank, so Rudy's got mm -hmm. two here. And this 15 goes, and it opens up the stack. I'm yeah. pretty sure the 15 goes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it goes. And then he should get a pretty good shot after two. Oh. Weird. It was going right at the hole. It's like it didn't move, though. Y yeah. You think he carom? That's probably what happened is he caromed instead of hitting the ball first. Oh, gotcha. You gotcha. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I... I don't think he was, you know, he wasn't trying to make the ball, but giving up the big spot, you just want to, like, improve the position a little and right. just not, not, uh, just give up the game, you know. Oh, center still says race to five for 300. Thank you. Race to three for 500. It's race to three for five for a thousand. Yeah. And they're 500 a man right now. Rudy making the bank and... So whose break was this? Was this Rudy's break? Uh, yes. So that means it's uh, it's eight four, which means Rudy needs three here. You're probably never shooting at the four, even if it goes, which I don't think it does. You could bank the two into the stack, sending balls to your side, and float the cue ball forward underneath the ten. That's a jump out the window shot if the other guy needs four balls. Unless it goes. Okay. Okay, yeah, the four ball didn't go. Yeah, Rudy's given 8-4 in this game. On David's breaks, it's 9-5. Okay. 
Brian Lapaz. Is Brian from here? That last name looks familiar. Yeah. Brian Lapaz has been in the chat. No, he's from he's from Sacramento. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I. Oh, this is a nice shot from Rudy. Probably a game winning shot. Actually, it's a little bit too deep. It becomes real difficult to. Uh... move to the next ball yeah <laughs> and he might scratch afterwards no nope. good shot yeah did you get a cue no not yeah. yet yeah Rudy keeping all of David's banking lanes tied up. really nice but it's gonna come and lay up real nice for Rudy Ooh, no this is no good for David especially since the four ball goes he can get free position on the 11 or four if he makes this ball and if he doesn't make it it's probably gonna be covered but he doesn't think at it he just takes it out maybe it was kissy Let's go. <laughs> okay, I don't think I actually know Brian. But... Shannon, how you doing tonight? Hey, Shannon. Thank you, Joseph. Oh, he scratched. That's not mm. going to be good for business. If the seven's over the line, Rudy's got two free shots. That's a uh, cruisism. Cruisism. A what? A cruisism. Cru what is? Cruisism. Uh, that's not going to be good for business. Daniel Cruz, or not Daniel. Uh, um, Chris. Chris Cruz. Yeah. going to be game number one for sure. 
Oh my god. Uh, Shame on you, Rudy. Oh yeah, like it was the spot's <laughs> fault. Come on, David's shaking his head at him. Yeah. Sure, Skip. <laughs> Got him. I might kick at this. Good things can happen. Uh, bad things can happen, well, too. Well, the, the problem is if you don't kick at it, you know it's going to be gone in your next shot anyway. Yeah. Yeah, but you also... What's this? What the uh, heck is this, David? Why, why are you trying to just give the win? You're just giving the game to the other guy. Well, hmm. maybe you just didn't want to fight for those three balls. All right, so this game is going to be 9-5. For this David's break. So Rudy going to five. Sorry. Rudy going to nine. David going to five. Why is my camera shaking? Was that an earthquake? you think this camera has literally never shaked did you guys see that do you think that was an earthquake that just couldn't be felt by us you know what I mean because it was so small you're just trying to build a little extra drama you know I do not think it was an earthquake, sir. Right. Apartment upstairs. My ca that camera has never shaken, with, and I looked over to make sure no one was like moving the the beads or the the flag next door, you know. Yeah. But uh, needs that cue ball to lock up on that five. Did it get there? Ooh, I it nudged the eleven there. down a little bit. Move the seven out. Oh, the two rail kick on the seven puts the cue ball in stack. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Seven's moving blazing pace, but this is really good cue ball. Powerful AC kicking on, but it's never done it before. That's why I didn't think it was the AC. <laughs> and if it was, it would still be going. Just take an intentional foul. Foul's fine. Oh, Hitting the ball's pretty good, too. Uh -huh. This bank is almost free on the 11. This bank is real tempting on the 11. Because the one's out in no man's land, but what's David going to do? Make the one and the 13? You know what I mean? Right. And the cue ball is going to probably be on the short rail, which Rudy's going to feel good about shooting the rail first shot on the 7 <laughs> from there. I say... Bank it towards the seven. Or into the stack. Towards the seven. Oh, no. He yeah. was trying to make... Yeah. Yeah, this is why it's okay. Because it's like... David's got to make a real good shot here. Yeah. Or you take the 12 and 7 out. Right. I'm taking him out and trying to hit the six. Hit the six. Running. Yeah. Oh, running. like draw the cue ball into the no, stack? No, no, no. Or just, go just one throw, rail? Just forward. Yeah. I see. He's talking about... The only thing that can happen there is this seven could, could go into your cue ball, but he's talking oh, about sending yeah, the yeah, cue yeah, ball yeah. like this. Yep. Yeah, and now he sold the seven. Look at this. Yep. No. Rail first goes for sure. Check and see if this thirteen. Shannon is in the pass. If this thirteen is any good, you could you could go after this ball, and if it goes, you're gonna leave the cue ball up here. Maybe not. You just didn't even didn't even need to move the cue ball. 
looked way thinner than that. And things are just getting worse for Rudy. Yeah. Now it's like easy to take three out. Just hit the 12 into the top side of the seven and everything comes out. Why is he rolling the ball forward? Stop shot. Stop shot. 12 into the top side of the seven. Yeah. The 12, the 12 skips out this way. The seven goes off of this ball and then goes into the rail and out here. Right. And then this ball that was on the bottom goes out this way. Hmm. And Rudy dogs the 13 ball bad. Actually, on that takeout shot that I was just talking about, I think you can slide the cue ball down towards this 11 like with a really controllable stun shot. Yeah. He's going because he only needs four balls. Oh, right. I mean, five. He needs five, actually, in this game. Yeah. So that, that's a, a big difference. I think those balls can come out cleanly. I, yeah, you hit like half. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> hey, hey, where do you want it? <laughs> Don't move it back now. <laughs> yeah, because if the 12 goes into this side of the 7, it goes it, two rails and right, out, and yeah. then the, the 7 ball just cleanly goes out this way. But he's going. And he made the ball, clips off the, the 9, and now he's screwed. Yeah. You can't even kick this ball in. Unless you go this way, and it's really blind. Oh, no, you can't. It doesn't go. Can't go this way because the, tw the 12 the, in the way. Two rails behind the purple. He's shooting at a dead ball. Oh, just trying to take it out. Oh, and he scratched. The worst thing that could have happened. And oh. He left the seven ball right in and the hole. And he makes the ball. And Three balls going to spot up and another ball. Uh, oh, and sorry I haven't, I haven't been keeping score for Rudy. Yeah. How many has Rudy got? must have one are there 14 on the table uh, yes three seven ten fourteen yeah I don't oh okay never mind I was tripping on something this this is touchy here to come up with a good angle on the next shot Right in between. <laughs> He's like a billion light years away from it, too. Yeah. You gotta shoot the one here. I was gonna say, you go after the one. Yeah. I mean, if you got a good cue ball, you can shoot the 14. Right. Hey. 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 Don't you dare. Oh, brutal, dude. Oh, my God. That, that's a massive swing in this game. Yeah. Both of the balls. Yep. Yep. And just in time, Tish comes and brings a beer. He didn't get the two. He's hooked up on the four. Hmm. And now David can't kick at the two. 
Can't thin off the 13. Can't thin off the four. Just intentional foul, right? Yeah, you got to force Rudy to... Just like basically the same thing. You just got to say, okay, Rudy, you're either going to three foul yourself or you're going to take the first shot. Yeah, I think you have to take the foul, David. Because you're going to leave the seven probably too. There's no way you don't leave a shot on the two unless you go absolute god mode. He did get a rail, though. Yeah. I like shooting the nine into the two. Not the seven. Right. Right from here, because it sends balls to your side of the table. Yeah. And... Oh, the seven goes. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't think the seven went. But if both balls didn't go, and you... You, you know, you could choose... Between but I mean, he combos, actually, yeah. The nine ball's a good shot because it nudges balls out on your side and, and uh, sends the cue ball. Keeps the, the cue ball protected in the stack, but you're you're not really shooting to make the ball. Right. Wait, which is David's pocket? Over over here? It looks like David thinks this is his pocket. I'm very confused. Wait, is it? I'm so confused. Oh, okay. Yeah, it makes more sense now. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Shannon's back. Or she's in the present now. She's I been say. here a while. No, but she was she was rooting for Lisa just a minute ago. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. gotcha.
Look at this. Made the ball. Way to go, David. This is how pool is meant to be played right here. Right there. Cheers, world. David needs two. Cheers, Twitter world. Hey, did you guys hear that OJ Simpson died? Two steps forward, one step back. this Rudy you think he's banking this 14 ball I like hitting this with a bunch of inside spin not outside because the outside sends the cue ball like this after this one ball that is super aggressive if you go after this one ball because you're not going to get the win out of it but you could lose the game off of it I think I like banking the four better than I like shooting the one because at least then you can put the cue ball way up on the short rail and the only straight up shot you leave is the 15 this is close. It's in the hole. Now, how do you get these balls out of here? Can you just stop the rock on that 12? The one that's on the long rail? Or is he just rolling up on the 10 here? He must be rolling up. It's pretty good. Rudy needs five. David's got to be thinking like, well, how am I going to get these balls moving towards my hole? Ooh, this is a game loser probably. Oh, cue ball dies off the point. Doesn't really leave anything. Does the 13 pass? Like, can you get the cue ball to the 13 here? Look at this shot from Rudy Estoke. Oops. You can use the eight to stop the cue ball so you don't have to worry about selling out. Just make the ball or get it close. He double kissed it. And this is bankable for David. This is bankable and I think you can still hold the cue ball below the one. No, maybe not. No, the cue ball is going to want to drift above the one here. But does the 10 go? Oh, barely holds the cue ball as well. And Rudy's just forced to take the 10 out. Trying to hit the eight ball there. Rudy was trying to move them other balls out of there. It's not necessarily terrible that they're still there because all banking lanes are closed for David. And it's not like he's going to be using them to, to run balls anytime soon. I would have thought it actually might have been more deadly there for David to try to hit the eight this way and maybe even 
make up some kind of combo on the 12 ball. Because now it's real easy for Rudy to just take them out or pick them out one by one. Where if they're there together, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to judge how you're going to pick them apart. And he might have even gotten lucky with leaving himself a dead shot that Rudy had to address. So it's, it's probably not going to change much of the outcome, but it would have been pretty interesting to shoot it that way. Yeah, David's having some trouble getting things moving. And the and the two big opportunities that he had didn't really pan out. And now he's just resorting to pumping the brakes, which is good when you only got to go to 5. But you can say later to all these balls. David's going to come off the side of the one, place the cue ball near the nine, but not bankable, ideally. This is no good. This is no good. Did he leave a bank on the eight? He must not have. If there was a bank on the eight right there, I think he could have played the cue ball around the 15 and, and done it for free. Well, David wants to do something about the three ball. It actually lays pretty good. Guys, it lays... This is a risky shot. High risk, high reward. To play the cue ball back up in here and open up the, the 15 ball. He's not going to do it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What happened? Nothing bad, but nothing great. Oh, the 14 ball ends up right in front of David's hole. And there's nothing Rudy can do about it. So he just goes to the short rail. Puts another ball on David's side. Says, there you go, buddy. <clears throat> Might run into the 12 here. He doesn't. Hits it really good. Hits it really good. That's really good with a really nice cue ball, too. Can Rudy find a way to use the 10 or the 14 to take both balls out, or is he just going to roll up underneath one of them? Lisa, thank you for the show. That was a lot of fun. It's rolling up. I don't think there's any carom here today on the 10 ball. Did he leave the one? If he left the one, uh, Rudy might be able to get the cue ball down to this short rail. And bank the 10. He's not thinking about queuing low here and tripling him up. Makes it so much more difficult to pocket the one ball. Into a blind corner where you're like queuing out of the pocket. He is. He doesn't like it, which I can't blame him. Can't you roll forward and get underneath the 10? I think the cue ball just misses the 9. Like, just come down to the short rail, right? Yeah, 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 like this, like this, yeah. Oh, he's going to get the rebate. Free money. Let's go. 
And David's like, okay, that's how I'm running. <laughs> and he needs two, and he's got a free bank, very makeable bank here on the 10 ball. Not likely to have another shot afterwards, but it puts a ton of pressure on David. He doesn't make the ball, and it ends up in a spot where David can take it out real easy. Rubs. I just like crashed and tired all of a sudden. Yeah. Should have had that fireball. <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 do. Ooh, real nice spot for the cue ball. Covers up all the banks. I think the 12 ball's bank will actually. Maybe, maybe the kiss is not missable, but. Rudy's this hole? Rudy's that hole. Okay. Alright. Rudy's on the right. Alright. And he's going to nine. Sorry, I messed up the count earlier. Uh, Rudy's Rudy needs three more. They both need three. Thank you very much. That is uh, irresponsible. Irresponsible. Well, the good news is if Rudy misses a ball, and Rudy will be going for the kill here. Yeah. Hits that ball pretty great. Almost too great. No. Oh, hit yeah, hit that it. ball way too great. Just follow two rails around the 15. Come on, no problem. Miss the side pocket and get two rails around the 15. I dare you. He's trying. That'll work. That 9-10 combo... I mean... Actually it, lays pretty good, Yeah, we, it? when the cue ball goes way up table after this? Yeah. yeah. You think he's going for the kill or just taking it out? Taking I it think out. he's taking it out. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You sure? No stra grubs. Gotta do something about this nine and ten. He just wants to bank. That's what he's pointing at. He's like, these balls here. If you're gonna bank the three, you gotta you gotta go low cue ball and draw the cue yeah, ball back just down below. Kick the these. ten out. Or are you? Well, same Later. thing. Wasn't sure. Yes, Lisa. But this is uh, Rudy's giving up a spot. Rudy has to go to nine. David has to go to five in this game. So the spot is eight, four, nine, five. And what that means is when it's the weaker players break, you go to the longer race. Does that make sense? And when it's the stronger player's break, you go to the shorter race, right? So 8-4 on Rudy's break, 9-5 on David's break. And this shot, or this game was David's break. Yeah. David got lucky not to leave him a shot there. Running off that, that ball. <laughs> Bless you. 
Bless you. Stop it. Stop it. I give two blessings, and then if that's not working, then yeah, I just tell you, you know, it's enough. You just tell that to give you one of those sneaky things. Right? I understand. Send it all the way. Send the cue ball up to the. Mm, that's a little full, I think, though, isn't it? Yeah, you're leaving. Yeah. Hell, even 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 the three. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep, two railer is pretty good. Pretty close. Wait. Oh, obviously. Obviously, blue is the ball count. <laughs> it is not 8 to 2. Game count. 8 kind of looks like a 3, though. Shadow Nails, I'm dying would, all of a sudden. Would be reason. over. <laughs> I might get a dog in the next couple of years. If I can get out of the construction gig. Yeah. I can barely take care of myself. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Speaking of. <laughs> God, the smell. So much cinnamon flavor. It's wild. Oh, that was what made my eye itch. Remember earlier when I, I tipped the bottle upside down? Yeah. And had my finger over it? I think I that eye touch or that finger touched my eye. Mm. And that was what caused the You're allergic to cinnamon. It's mildly uh, irritating. Mm. Cinnamon. It's an irritant. Looks like Kevin's cousin. Looks like things are in full swing on Friday night. Yeah. Anybody it like could be that that could be like if if Avram and Kevin had a kid. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That guy. Dang. That guy plays good. He kind of looks like Adrian right there. Yeah, he does. A little bit. Little He's bit. Got a little Adrian ness going on. Collins met Winston. He can tell you what a cute but crazy dog he is. And very funny seeing Winston and Collins interact. <laughs> We've mm. we played with each other a lot. <laughs> Chasing that dog around. Yeah. Running circles. I I was delivering this morning and it was the last uh, 
the last stop and it's like in like a farm or something you know and I and I pull up to the fence and I just you know like I, I look around make sure there's nothing around and put the package down and then I just feel something like run into my leg I'm like ah <laughs> the dog must have been blind <laughs> it like ran it like ran into me and then it like backs up and it you know it's just like oh it was it was funny I was a moose but it scared the hell out of me though yeah I'm sure my wife and I breed Brits we have three of our own Brits Good lord what uh what are Brits Brittany Spaniel hmm I call them Brit Spans. Mm. I got a Brit Span. Did I about this big. Grubs, did I show you this game? No. Yes. I did? I don't know. Did yes, I, sh yes, I showed you, you this? Yeah. Wait, this is the same game, I think. It's just like a different Oops. level, I guess. Do you guys want to see what I'm talking about? I'm playing this this game that is super difficult, right? Sorry. Hey. Hey. What? Does that work? Nope. Actually, here's what we'll do. I'm trying this super difficult game. It's called streaming. Only joking. Ah, joke. this looky here look what I found so it's this you're this little guy and when you right click you hold with your right hand and when you left click you hold with your left hand and you gotta like move your mouse to make the guy climb and then you gotta do this little like like little jump moves and stuff, it's really difficult. Wait, I'm just gonna get this one jump and then we'll we'll move on. I'll watch pool. I'm not bored with pool, I'm just I had a intrusive thought. Blame the fireball. Wait, serious mode in the game or yeah. on the stream? <laughs> pool versus pool. <laughs> You got this, Collins.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Mm. Dang, and you're a gymnast too? Uh, what the what? Mm -hmm. Look at him go, dang. Oh, that's like a um, American Ninja Warrior. They're gonna, they're gonna look at the stream. And <laughs> <laughs> Look at this break. The teddy hook and everything. A little tap. Did he teddy hook him? Put the controller down. Rage quit. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell are you wearing? A loincloth? <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's stressful. That game is stressful. You have to focus so hard. So obviously Rudy broke this game. They're playing 8 4 oh. this game. He left a shot on the 10 ball, but I can't imagine David's going to shoot. Uh, wrong pocket. What? Wrong pocket. What? David's David shooting that way? Yeah. David broke. He's going nowhere. Oh, 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 that's right. The short game was David's game. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So David needs five then. You maybe play the uh, five. What? Play the five into the green. It goes. No. Oh my, David. Of course, Alan brings up the short shorts after the loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna hurt. If Rudy really. Bears down right here. All he's got to do is bear down. He wins the wins the set. Yeah. Bear down. I thought he was gonna play the five into the. Yeah. And then, and then like play into the roll into one. the stack just to get a ball closer to the hole. Yeah. Rudy could draw back and make this two ball. He's going forward to bank something. What's he banking? The 14? Is that ball Thanks. bankable? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can twist it. Holy bit. crap. And then put him on the 9. No, you're moving the 9 out to, to uh, retain on position the on the 2. Yeah. It's pretty good. What do you do? What do you do? Hey, David. I wonder if you can come off the left side of the five, move the five into the stack with just a little bit of inside and, and put him on like underneath the 14. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. yeah. It just 
the longer you talk, the more elaborate the shot gets. <laughs> Because I always, I always see you can't. It's a little trappy, yeah. You're always gonna. Sell, well, no, I guess if you bank at the, like, if Rudy were to bank at the two, the nine and stuff. Is you know, you could just so. send the five up table and put the cue ball in the stack. Yeah. So, you know. the, but then you're gonna get stuck behind the fifteen. But they just combo the one. Yeah. Wow, that's a great shot. Put it down one time, David. I mean. You didn't really want to make it. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is like a. Ugh. Mike just texted me just now. Keep in mind, it's like almost 1 a.m. on the East Coast. And he says, he says, he says, dude comes up to me, says what a big fan he is. Love what you do, blah, blah, blah. His son walks, who's a teen, or, or he asks his son, who's teenaged, you know who this is? And his son says, yeah, that's post up. <laughs> What's the name of your page again? <laughs> he says, I almost drop kicked that kid after my eye roll. You can see from California. <laughs> That's And now I'm gonna text him this. <laughs> My chat right now. With a picture of all the, the Melina Mike faces. <laughs> That's too freaking funny, dude. Ugh. So what, Rudy needs eight from here, right? So he's not running out. Uh, it's gonna be fine, right? Six goes. Oh, he's gonna bank the nine right now? No, you gotta take two in the hand. Six might not go. Six don't go. Yeah. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh, wow, the 9 and 14 are tied up. So. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. You got really unfortunate. But Oh, wow, look at this. But, now all of a sudden, he's got a real big pocket. Yep. He should go at this with some speed, I would think. Because uh, you have to get the ball to twist. 
right? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the ball banking back to David's hole because these these balls right here are gonna right. stop it or at least change. Wait, it's, he's kicking he's at kicking it. Oh uh, yeah. And hitting it perfect. Okay. My ball, you can bank. Yeah, just just hit those two balls. And you can use the three for protection, right? right. So you're you're really just rolling the cue ball like out to here. Yeah. Or here. He's trying to make something move. He's not going to touch anything. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I don't think the five ball goes. There. Yeah, it goes. It certainly goes. Sorry, I got to go use the boys room. Yep. 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 Oh, it's Fireball. Why are you drinking so much Fireball, bro? Yeah, right, Yeah, I don't know what to do either, David. And just roll it up onto the nine. I don't like hitting the nine. Roll the five. But it can wire up too. No. Two mm. railer. Put him in the sack. Whoa. Jack it up. Oh, just cue ball. I'm aggro. Mm. <laughs> a nice shot by David. Wow. Yeah. Unfortunate that the ball came up so high. Ooh, double kiss and lost nothing. Lost nothing for it. David can kick at the nine ball, I think. Uh, yeah, I think he has to kick at the nine ball unless the 11's in the way. I the think, ball that I think 11's in the way. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rudy has two now.
too shabby. Oh man, the carom off the five doesn't lay that bad. <laughs> Five's a little low though. Yeah, it's a, I was, that lay is pretty good. Now you do it. Take the you just take the five out and draw into the nine. Yeah, I get nothing for it. <laughs> <laughs> you might be able to three rail the fifteen back at your hole and put the cue ball back down on the left side of the table. Oh yeah, I see. Kind of hard I, I to think the cue hard to cue. I think the cue ball is moving too fast. Though. Yeah. Either too fast or too slow, <laughs> you, you know? Yeah, like, what's he doing here with the 13? Playing it off the eight, maybe? Off the five? Well, he played it off the eight. Off the, oh, yeah. And this is real tough for David to deal with. Yeah, uh, you can just, you got so se send it, you can't send it towards the nine. Oh, you sell you out, can, you sell out. Well, I just don't think then. that you can get a lot out of it, you know? Right. You gotta just kind of <laughs> dink it. Yeah, yeah. Because if you move the nine, then maybe you sell out. Yeah, the yeah, and then if you move the if you move the thirteen so much that it goes back to the stack, you also might lose the cue ball. So right. it's like you kind of have to just dink it towards the nine to keep things tied up. Right. It looks like he's gonna dig into this ball. Yeah. Yeah. This there's a lot of things that can go wrong there. Yeah, and then he sells out the nine. So. And the 11 balls in a spot where I think if he ends up with an okay angle here, run into he the can go one. into the stack and get insurance with the four ball. Yeah. See what happens. It a, looks like it's going to be really good. A, 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 a. It's going to be really good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice little straight pool break here. Yeah, you want to make sure you don't touch the four here. You want to draw. You want to draw into the one and skip towards center table off the one. What's he doing here? He went into the four. Hmm. Oh, wow. He tried rolling through to nudge the four down. Yeah. Oh, man. I I would have thought he would have been a little more greedy than that yeah. because his pocketing percentage is so high there. Yeah. But I think, like you were saying, you want the cue ball coming back to center table, like skipping but, yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. And that's gonna double kit those that ball doesn't go, right? The five is frozen. David gestured that the five is frozen, so if if that's the case, it makes the thirteen double kiss and the balls don't go anywhere. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. If you use the five. Or you can try and just perfect pocket speed make the thirteen. <laughs> that's super thin. That's yeah. Super Ah, uh, maybe not. Actually, it looks. Or you blasted a billion miles an hour and send the cue ball up table, like that. Unlucky, dude. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's unlucky. Oh, pool is so dumb sometimes. Thank you, Shannon. Yeah, guys, don't forget to click that thumbs up button, guys. If you're having a good time. Well, you can move on if you don't like it, would you? Not for and, everybody. And these guys aren't necessarily very old. They're both in their, <laughs> yeah. I think they're both in their 30s. Yeah. Maybe Rudy's 40. It's close. It's a good shot. I bet you Rudy can beat the kiss here and send the four. Oh, yeah. But the Ooh, question yeah. is, does he clip that, the stack? That's, I think he does. He does. Oh, wow. Only just. Wow. Only just. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Shannon, you don't have to. Yeah, it's... It's yeah. okay. Yeah. People... Like, it's okay for people to not like something. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. I finally have a channel activity thing to click on. So when someone it says something like dick, right? Know, like dick mode, I can go and see all the other things that they've said. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, they finally put that on YouTube. Oh, this is so cool. Like I can click on Alan B and see all the stuff that he said. Ha. <laughs> That is so cool. Finally. Like, I can go to Dog in It podcast and see the uh, channel activity and see all the stuff that he said. Honestly, not much. Dog in it podcast joined three years ago, has two subscribers. Oops. GFY. Did you see what I said? What is. Dude, now I just want to see Tiny Home Living Magazine. I have my speculations as to who that person is. But obviously I can't say it publicly because... Woodchip? No, no, no. Tiny Home Living Magazine? Oh. Woodchip's a good guy. He's new to the channel. Yeah. No, I... This is his first time on the stream. I wish I could undelete that message. Would you? No hard feelings, buddy. Yeah. What a shot. Hey, yo, bearded billiards? Oh, you, you know Marcelino. Okay, right on, man. Marcelino's a great dude. Who made a ball? Uh, Rudy. Rudy boy. Rudy boy, Mr. Eight of Five. Rudy needs three. Oh my god, he hits those good. Yeah. Rudy oh. needs three. David needs two. <laughs> Gonna be gone soon. Mm. Uh, mm. Doggin' it. Is that Mike or is that Joey? Because I know that Joey has accessed my chat from Doggin' It podcast before. But it's uh, Rudy's given 9584. So 84 on Rudy's break. This is David's break, so this game is 95. Cut the four in the hole. Almost cut the four in the hole. Did you get a job? Oh, uh, a couple days. Like, I got one for Sunday. Okay, but cool. I'm trying to yeah, fill it up. Yeah. Fill her up! We're moving up! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Rudy's shooting at this 12 because it's frozen. And he's got the pocket blocker with the 14. Does the 12 Ooh. go? It doesn't fall. Oh. And tries to scratch, but doesn't. 14 spots up. And David needs the 4 <laughs> and the 14. Can he jack up, cheat the pocket, spear it in, and get on the good side of the 14? I'd say probably not. <laughs> but he might roll up for the bank. Ooh, okay. With a little outside spin. Little thin cut here. And we got a hill hill match. Come on, David. One time. One time for the one time. Oh, no. Snap. Oh, and. 
Well, he didn't that, really leave a bank. I mean, that cut's frozen. Rudy, so, yeah. yeah, Rudy could draw the rock up the short rail to the point where it's bankable, but it's real tough. Real tough to get there. David needs one. Wait. Oh, you, oh you're saying like... like yeah, David. yeah. Rudy would have to get somewhere around, yeah, like here. Trying. Yeah. Work. Tried to get there, didn't work. And now he's actually in a bad spot to take the 14 out. You're trying to three three rail it, right? You, yeah, you got to three rail it, but you want to leave it in a spot where it's not bankable, right? Up and you, table and or you, off the long rail. And you leave a two railer, even if you leave it like. Yeah. So ooh. he sends the cue ball. Okay, interesting. Huh. Left a cut shot that's also a scratch. Right. If you hit it way too thick. Yeah, that was an interesting way of going at it. It makes more sense. Now Rudy needs two, David needs one. Oh, and he did scratch. He hit it too thick. Damn. That's probably going to be a match loser. Yeah. I mean, there's a decent chance, depending on how many beers Rudy has had. Uh, Rudy, sober Rudy, this is like 60% you win the match, if not more. Yeah. He needs this in the 14. Inside? No, just roll it with a touch yeah. outside. He made the ball, got there. Dead straight in. Mm -hmm. David's gonna give it up. Good match, boys. That was that was close at the end. Close yeah. at the end. David just hitting yeah. it way too thick, man. He hit that ball too thick and he hit the spot shot too thick that he had. Yeah. Just hitting him a little too thick. Yeah, same thing. Too thick. Gotta catch it thinner. So, David's been playing this spot with Rudy, uh, mostly just 8-4, and winning, mm. right? So, I assume that now they're, now they're uh, to the point where Rudy, you know, is like, let's, you know, make a little adjustment, play something on stream. Yeah. Uh, and now, I don't know if David's still up or if they just broke even or where they're at but it sounds like david's still up a touch after even after this step this set so a little eye roll from david though a little eye roll from david uh choke did you see that he was walking away did this ah, i choked yeah. he had a chance to go hill hill and he choked twice yeah. but we've all been there i haven't really you never done that before no nope, you should never, try it never. sometime man Ooh, okay try it sometime all right guys that's gonna do it for tonight Everybody have a good night. Hey, shout out to uh, Lloyd Diaz. Yes. For that cue, man. I'm going to go hit some balls with it. It deflects like a mofo. <laughs> but for center ball and backhand English, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Pretty sweet. So everybody have a great night. We'll see you guys probably Tuesday. Maybe on Sunday. I might do that, uh, that Q&A stream on Sunday. Yeah for the stream setup. I gotta figure out how to do the wireless. I have a camera, like a wireless camera that I can like set up a small window when I'm like showing them stuff down here, oh, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah, so. Anyway, have a good night guys. See you next time. Y'all's the best. Y'all's the best. Peace. Later, Slim. <laughs> right on. <laughs>